Let me get comfortable. I'll try and keep this short, guys. September 2024. The end of August, first half to September. Uh, of September I would call mutation because our hearts are going through psychic surgery they're being expanded we're connecting back into that innocence that inner child knowing and that inner child focus so there's like once September rolls around we are beginning to feel more playful. We feel a lightness. There's an easy breeze to the end of August and the first week in September. I called it mutation. And if you haven't watched that video called mutation for that energy update, please do because it's action packed. I, I go into detail with the themes including the themes of like, there's a, there's a push and pull. There's a conscious versus unconsciousness. There is that blue moon brought a theme of restriction versus freedom. So there's been this dichotomy throughout August of yin yang of seemingly opposing opposites and taking a bit of this, taking a pinch of that, and how are we going to combine the recipe and cook it moving forward into September and October. I will say to you the energies for November and a few patches in December are definitely more challenging. So I advise you in, I did four guys, four. <laughs> August energy update videos. You requested them, so I kept going. And to be honest, there was so much to cover in August. I'm glad. I'm glad I was able to go deeper and deeper and deeper. Listen, I will go deep down the rabbit hole if you want me to. Some people like to just keep it simple, and, and I do. I definitely do. But it can be fun sometimes to to get a little bit more detailed and, 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 the, and to be fair, the August energies were complex. They looked like one thing on the surface. Remember I said about the swan, I gave you the swan in the very first August energy update and it looks graceful sliding, gliding down the stream. And then underneath the swan is pedaling away frantically. So there was a lot going on internally in our energy in August. And I feel we get some relief in the first week of September from that energy. Second and third week in September is a little bit of a different story. We are looking at revolution. So I'm calling the second part of September revolution. And it's a, it's a silent, it's a quiet internal revolution. It's asking us to accept the answers that we received during the Mercury retrograde. So while Mercury was retro, we were brought back into the past. We were asked to examine and reflect on decisions and choices that we've made in the, in the previous six months. And what I will say is there's something about the 15th of July that's gone past that is being completed, expanded upon. Opened up, I'm hearing, in the first or second week of September, depending on where you are in your timeline. So maybe go back and remember the energies around then. I I had a very, very striking public channeling. I did a video where I channeled directly with my eyes open, which I don't usually do, but it was just so crystal clear. And you should go back and watch that video. It's called Sudden Departures. There you go. Sudden Departures. 
and it's a very prophetic predictive video it's really a psychic message of the future and I feel like September is completing or showing you what that message was all about what that guidance and where that guidance has been leading you so you'll probably have a sense of acceptance around the answers that you got in August and if you haven't reached acceptance if you're still in that push-pull energy that I mentioned I would suggest human to human soul to soul that you find a way to soften your restrictive thinking around whatever grief or pain that you're struggling with because there's something about going through the eye of the storm and coming out stronger the other side that is very connected to these energies of September and once I really dropped into my acceptance and I made a conscious choice it's got to be a conscious choice that I am now going to accept the personal things that I was accepting. Everything moved. It was like everything just became easier and smoother and kinder and calmer. And I really wish that for you. So looking at how in Mercury retrograde, you were shown things that you cannot unsee. You were given clear answers to questions that perhaps for months prior bothered you and pestered, in, pestered you in the back of your mind. You were shown things in August. Now it's up to you to decide what you do with those answers. And for many of you, you may be thinking, well, I don't feel I got any answers look again I bet you have so a lot of the time sometimes we get answers but we don't want to hear that answer it's not the answer that our ego wants so if you feel you you haven't been given any clarity I would suggest to you my hair is really fluffy because it's just drying out after the shower so it looks all fluffy like um I hardly ever blow dry my hair and style it it's terrible I I I'm lazy. <laughs> I also think it's better to let it dry naturally, you know, just to, to keep it in good nick. But I can, I can do that more in the summer than the winter. So I enjoy it in the summer. But yeah, look at where your ego, your ego is rejecting an answer. Perhaps your angels have spoken. Perhaps they've given you all the signs and they pointed in the right direction for you to go. But there's just a part of you that's reluctant to accept, back to the acceptance, to accept that truth. Because it's not what your, it's, it's, it's not what your, your old identity would accept or it's not what you wanted. And yet it's what you need. These answers are what we need. Look at that theme of, it may not be what I want right now, but it's what I need. It's kind of like, I don't really want to eat my vegetables right now, but it's what I need. My body is craving nourishment and nutrition. So I can still have the food I like, but I'm also gonna include vegetables on my plate. Do you get what I'm saying? Because I think, and I see this with my one-to-one -one clients, sometimes somebody will come and they will have a repeating pattern and the answer is all over them. It's all over their energy. It's, it's, it's written in the stars, right? But it's not the answer they want. And their ego is like, no, 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 no. And their ego will find all crazy, superstitious, ways of denying, denying 
the truth that is laid out right before their eyes. And the angels are saying, honey, darling, beloved, look at this. You're exhausting yourself running from the answers. Sometimes we don't want to take space from our friend who we love deeply or our spouse, our girlfriend, our boyfriend, our mother. But we have to because our body and our soul is calling us to and saying you need to get back to you, your inner child. So this is a great time to establish boundaries and to do something that you feel is a heart-based act of quiet, silent revolution where you are revolutionizing how you handle things. What you're gonna find is for the first time in your life, probably in September or October, you're going to want to manage and handle a situation or a repeating wound in your life very, very differently. You're going to say, you know what? I've never gone down this route. I've always taken that route and it's always led to the same outcome. I'm not doing that anymore. I need to go cold turkey, detox, spiritual detox, and I need to go down this road. And that's the kind of, rev that's why I'm calling it revolution because there is this exquisite energy of change in September. And movement. So whatever you decide to revolutionize and to change for the better is actually going to be moved along and fleshed out quite fast. You're going to see a speed up in the third, second, third week of September. Mercury goes direct um, and the answers that you received maybe subtly in August, but they were there. For some of us, it wasn't so subtle. It's a chance for you now to be the revolution, to be the revolutionary activist for your own life and for your own projects and say, okay, in the past, I didn't take control or in the past, I was too passive or or maybe it's the opposite. Maybe you were too controlling. Maybe you were you were too dominant and you need to pull back. But you're going to look at yin yang, push pull, opposing energies and you're going to say, you know what? I've always done it this way. Now I'm going to go that way. And I'm going to I'm going to be part of an internal revolution and you're also going to see revolution as we revolutionize in our soul self, in our consciousness, you're going to see this be reflected, mirrored back to you in the world, in the cultures, in the countries, in the politics. You're going to see that the theme of revolution change. Change for the better. For some people, drastic change. Like I said, guys, Go back to that Sudden Departures channeled video. It's so much of what I predicted in that video is going to happen for you this September. So I'm happy to share my gift with you and help you be prepared. You can like and subscribe to this video for more. And if, you, if you're interested, you can also join my membership and um, I will be giving, I'll be basically doing a lot of more private content for my members only. I'll, all, I'll still do my public content, of course. I've been, Jesus, I think I'm 10 years sharing all my spiritual understandings and gifts and free readings. And I want, I want to connect deeper with a small group of members. So if you're interested, I'm gonna put the join link in the description box you can just click on that link and get the information and sign up and when you remember you can come on live streams with me you will have access to videos before anybody else i want to 
I want to name my members and see you as patrons of this creative work, this spiritual work, because I really, really want to impact the world. And I want us all to join together with our light. So I'm calling it members of light because I really believe at our true core, we are light beings. And I'll be doing Q and A's and card readings and angel divinely guided messages, channelings. And I'll, I'll be more comfortable, I think, on there because I know it's, it's a private, cozy, intimate space for us to get to know each other better. So for those of you who've joined, thank you so much. I, I know that so far, um, Courtney, Marty, Annie, um, was it Vamon? I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I need to, I've only just set this up. For some devices, the join button doesn't show, so you'll need to click the link in the des description box below. Some phones just don't show the join button for the membership. I don't know why. So I hope to see you there as a member and um, take care. Happy September. <laughs>